In our last video, we learned how to identify and clear faults, but we need to learn how to prevent these faults from happening. The most common fault you're gonna see is the array subscript out of range. So let's talk about how we can prevent this from happening. Hi, this is Tim, and I help you become a better technician so that you'll always be in demand. Here's the program that we worked with where we had a simple move instruction moving to my array with the tag index for the position we're moving into. And this is a single dimension array with a length of five, which means it's elements zero through four. So if I simply enter a five right here, then it's gonna fault it right away. And in the last video, we went through how to identify and clear those faults. So this time we wanna look a little deeper at this, is how could we have prevented this from ever happening? And there's a few ways we could do this. First, we could put a limit instruction in front of this. So if I go to the compare tab and I bring down an LIM instruction, then I can look at that index and I can say that it's low is gonna be a zero and it's high is gonna be four. And if it's out of this range, then this is gonna be a false and a false move is gonna do nothing. So now if we go back over here and I put my five in, then notice it did not fault it. And overall, this is a decent method of doing this. And I've seen programs that have question marks occasionally in them like this. And at first you think that the program scrambled or something, but you gotta remember Studio 5000 is really just making a general representation of what's here. So it's going to look and try to see, okay, what value is in my array and then our index position. With that being a value of five right now, it's going to have question marks there. If we take that right back to four, then we're going to see a real value. Now that'll prevent the fault. There's also some situations where some people want to revert back to what they consider a safe value. In the cases where we wanna keep it within a range, we're gonna add another rung, and then we're gonna bring some compares down. Let's bring down a greater than. We'll bring a branch down around it, and let's bring down a less than. And then we're gonna to go to our move logical tab and bring down a move instruction into both of those branches. If index is greater than four, then we are going to move four to the index. And if the index is less than zero, we're gonna move a value of zero to the index. Now I would still keep this limit here and maybe I'll make a video at some point showing that you can actually end up entering that value right in between these and still fault your processor. So you definitely want this right here. But now if I go and put a value of negative two in index, it goes right to zero. And if I put a value of five into index, it's gonna go right to four. Along those lines, I've created this playlist with some great troubleshooting tips. 